making progress, are we? And in such a hurry to find us, to find me. There's no need to rush. I am everywhere, and everything here is mine. We thank you for alerting the fleet, for warning them. You're such a fool. They are racing here, racing to us, and we are waiting. Waiting for them to fall into their worst nightmare. They will join my legion, and with their ships, I will bring this hell to Earth. You won't live to see it. And you will die long before you have a chance to warn them. Attention. Initiating pump station 1B. system offline. Toxicity level increasing. There's nothing left for you but a slow death as your lungs fill with toxic gases. External contamination. Hazard doors sealed. Toxicity level detected.
destroy him. Detected. will not be your end. Your soul will burn Warning. in hell forever. Danger level red. 
Lethal toxicity level detected. Air scrubber one of three activated. Air scrubber two of three activated. Attention, air filtration system online. Toxicity level decreasing. Orzu, Amiran, Inokas. Rise, rise, Quasmir Yalopan. There is no death for you. This is the audio log of Engineer Sam Harding, dated April 5th, 2145. I have just completed repairs on the magnetic locks and have significantly reprogrammed the pressure sensors on the now monorail leaving system. Environmental My fellow engineers center. and I are confident stop, that the accident of last two. week will never happen again. Who are you? What the are you doing? The accident should never have happened in the first place. The internal sensors led the computers to believe that there was a vacuum inside the vehicle. Unfortunately, the computer decided that the only way to fix this pressure discrepancy was to open all doors in an attempt to equalize pressure with the outside. Going over 15,000 lines of code today, I can see no reason for this tragic event to have occurred. But somehow, the logs show the discrepancy is clear as day. Honestly, this looks to me like another case of a solid system going to hell in a handbasket. Confident Remember, that the layers of protection I added to the code today the will prevent any such occurrences from happening again. In the event I'm off to meet Engineer stop, Jim Torben at the access doors to the Delta Complex platform safety. to try and have troubleshoot nice a faulty track sensor that's been causing the door to stick. Now entering Site 2. Warning. I was waiting Airbot here on the train for my partner. Please contact he went to investigate what was going on, repairs. but he Thank never you came back. And have a nice day. But now, I don't, I don't know where he is. I don't know what the hell's going on. But I bet it has to do with those artifacts we were digging up at Site 2. I bet they're somehow connected with those... things... in the Delta Complex. Destroy all who oppose me. This is 
Function detected. This is the audio log of Charles Hollis, EAP Director, dated September 5th, 2145. In order to conserve current life support resources, effective October 1st, 2145, the Council has made a decision that all environment processors be brought offline in the general area of Site 2. Tomorrow, I will be sending out emails to all team leaders asking for an update on their asset relocation program to Site 3. We feel that we have unearthed enough useful material as it pertains to the project from Site 2, and choose to now devote resources in the exploration of Site 3. End log recording. This is the audio log of engineer Sam Harding, dated April 5th, 2145. They have just completed repairs on the magnetic locks and have significantly reprogrammed the pressure sensors on the monorail system. My fellow engineers and I are confident that the accident of last week will never happen again. The accident should never have happened in the first place. 
The internal sensors led the computers to believe that there was a vacuum inside the vehicle. Unfortunately, the computer decided that the only way to fix this pressure discrepancy was to open all doors in an attempt to equalize pressure with the outside. And going over 15,000 lines of code today, I can see no reason for this tragic event to have occurred. But somehow, the logs show the discrepancy is clear as day. Honestly, this looks to me like another case of a solid system going to hell in a handbasket. I'm confident that the layers of protection I added to the code today will prevent any such occurrences from happening again. I'm off to meet engineer Jim Torben at the access doors to the Delta Complex platform to try and troubleshoot a faulty track sensor that's been causing the door to stick. Engineering, please report to Site 2 access ramp. Airlock malfunction detected. Engineering, please report to Site 2 access ramp. Airlock malfunction detected. Airlocks. Security override enabled. Now leaving Site 2. Next stop, Delta Complex. Engineering, please report to Delta Complex Access Ramp. Track sensor failure detected.
Destroy him! Warning, automated turret guns online. Warning, automated turret guns online. Warning, attention. Automated turret guns offline. Emergency power only. All Delta operations suspended. This is the audio log of Robert Price, Delta Operational Director in charge of personnel, recruitment, evaluation, and placement. Assignment of engineers to the lower Delta labs has become almost impossible. In six months, we've gone from a volunteer surplus to a critical deficiency of qualified personnel willing to accept assignment. Increases in both pay and benefits have done little to help this situation. Through exit interviews as well as the weekly Delta medical brief, it's become apparent to everyone that the rate of sudden and unexplained mental illness is way beyond acceptable levels, even for Mars. They're derogatorily being called sub-delts up here, and I have a feeling this attitude will spread to other parts of the UAC. End of log. Emergency power only. All Delta operations suspended.